All right, so we're back from the machine shop, and I have a bit of a prognosis, or they have a bit of an idea of uh, what caused my engine to catastrophically fail after the rebuild. Uh, one of the questions he asked me was, did you use, did you check your bearings? Did you actually put this together properly? And I told him the processes I went through, and that was to check the code of the crank, check the code of the block, go to the sheet that Ford has, which is a good graph of code versus code, and then followed and I said I plastic gauged it and everything came within spec. I used the uh, deflection gauge and rotated it over without the connecting rods and everything came in well within spec. Uh, nothing was hard or seized. He then uh, asked me if I pre-lubed it and I said yes, and then he said, please tell me you didn't use white grease. And then there was a good five second pause to which I answered, yes, yes I did. And he said, well, that's most, oops, that's most likely your, uh, your cause of issue. He was saying if it was the crank that was bent, uh, I would have had uh, a higher torque reading on uh, the rotating assembly when it was just the, uh, the crank in there. And uh, I kind of believe him on that one. Uh, they did check it out and they're quite a, uh, a decent machine shop. Um, again, that's one of the bearings. I can't remember which one, but it's a fucked one, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I uh, I used white grease on this. Uh, the ports, the parts store that rhymes with uh, Lord Co. and starts with Lord Co. recommends uh, using it. Uh, again, probably shouldn't trust Lord Co. people, uh, but. Uh, sold me some oil, so maybe he's just a really good salesman because I went in there with a problem and I was sold a bunch of oil. But uh, he was saying to use this stuff, uh, him and his uh, techs, uh, rebuilders, they said uh, never to use the white grease. They uh, listed various reasons, one of them being uh, that stuff has basically no, uh, no oiling properties once it's uh, initially been kind of spun. And uh, they said on the Timken bearing load test that uh, using the white grease, you can get about uh, one or two rotations before the thing locks up. And apparently that's putting a crank on uh, in some bearings and using various amounts of weight to hang off the crank and then turning the crank with a set amount of torque. And uh, they said the white grease fails pretty much instantly. Uh, Maybe that is the issue. It's definitely a shitty thing to have caused all this uh, all this chaos in my engine and uh, thinness in my wallet, that's for sure. Uh, but everything's on its way over. We got a, nothing really new to see here, but we got a new crank coming. We got new connecting rods. We got new bearings for rods and connecting rods. We got... Uh, Head gaskets, manifold gaskets, a new oil pickup. Uh, I've got a new oil cooler upstairs. I've got uh, the MR oil pump I need to take apart and uh, take a look at and uh, have a good clean of everything in there to make sure I'm not gonna shoot any more debris. And I've got hours and hours of uh, shooting air through this engine and solvents to get all the, uh, the crud out. It's not gonna be fun, but it always sucks doing things the second time. Let's just hope uh, I don't have to do it a third time. So yeah, if uh, anyone was curious what caused my issue, uh, there's a good chance that was it. Uh, if you have any more ideas, definitely uh, post a comment. And uh, yeah, any, uh, any advice or uh, suggestions is uh, welcome. All right, bye.